Sam, Chloe, uh, congratulations, uh, a, a solid performance. It's been a little bit of a wait for you guys. Uh, you played at the Denmark Open last year. Uh, how did you feel uh, stepping on court and just uh, do, doing what you do best? Yeah, I think we need to figure out if we could still do it. Um, it's been a long time since you played and I think this week I was quite anxious because not having that feeling, you know, of even just going to the airport and going for a match. So it's nice to get on court and play and um, once we got back in, if everything kicked in, the old instincts were still there, thankfully. Yeah, can you just uh, share a few um, uh, thoughts on um, what the situation has been like in, in Ireland in terms of for you guys for, for, for training? Have you been able to train as normal or, or how's it been? Yeah, we've been quite lucky. We've been able to train pretty much as normal and uh, other bands and activity in Ireland completely stopped. But for us high performance players, we're still allowed to train and we still have our institute to do our weights and stuff. So we're actually very blessed. And I think we'd be going crazy if we if we weren't allowed to train at the minute. Like a lot of people in Ireland are struggling with the long wait. So uh, we've been quite lucky that everything's full flow. You played against uh, a tricky young uh, English pair who showed what they can do in Finland uh, uh, two weeks ago. Um, in that second game, they, they really changed up and I think they had a lead 12-7 um, at one point. Uh, uh, what did they do uh, to, to get that lead against you guys? Um, I think they, you know, they started to play a bit faster and Callum was actually very effective around the back. I think, you know, especially in Finland, he showed that he can play quite good. So yeah, we were very aware of that and we knew that if we give them the game that they could really come at us with good things. So, um, yeah, we just had to go back to the way that we were playing and I think that we had the tactics right in the first game and we strayed a little bit, but we were, um, yeah, we were quite good that we were able to get it back on back on track in the second half of the second. Yeah, you got the uh, uh, the win in the uh, in the end through to the next round. Of course, this is the uh, return to the race to Tokyo, the, the all important race to Tokyo. Um, how important is this uh, tournament for you guys and what are your expectations moving forward? Yeah, I think, I mean, the next game is obviously a very tricky, uh, very good German pair, but I mean, we're just taking it one game at a time and we want to come here and try and play our best badminton and to show that, you know, get back that feeling of playing on court. As you said, it's been a long time. So, you know, we're taking it one game at a time and um, if we can go out there and show our best level, then that's what we want to do this week. And, and just lastly, with the, the, the COVID restrictions, the testing that all players in all sports have to do, uh, how does it affect you guys in your, in your preparation? It was a long way, you guys eager to step on court, but then having to go through that uh, before yeah. the tournament, did it affect you at all? I think now you're just getting used to it. It's just standard procedure, but uh, there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff to do to travel yeah. now, and uh, there's a lot of restrictions at the airport and different things. So it's a bit strange, but I think each, you know, we're kind of just getting used to it. Uh, we've only had Denmark and here, kind of get come home, test, quarantine, the kind of normal standard. So. Um, and I think for us, actually, the hardest part was actually getting flights to come here. Yeah. Like we couldn't get a direct flight to Basel, and most days it was three flights. So. It's all the things that you actually don't think about. What's so easy, normally it's so easy just to get to Basel. It's taken us like a long time and a lot of paperwork and a lot of flights, which normally doesn't, ha doesn't happen. So that way as well, it's been uh, quite difficult. It's uh, the other side of the computer. You see a result, but you don't realize all the stuff that you actually have to do just to stand on court now. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, yeah we, we just have to do it. Yeah. You're here now, a good win and yeah. best of luck in the uh, next round. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks.